Welcome to Watson's Adventures. Today I'm going to be installing an EMP shield on this uh, 2019 Ram 2500. First thing to do, according to instructions, is to find a location for the unit. And as you can see, it's, I don't think there's any place to mount it on the sidewall. It's so compact on this side. It's going to give you like four feet of electrical cable. But one thing I'm going to do go and install it right in there so I'm about to get into the wheel well and the tools needed is going to be a socket set um, some diagonal cutters some crimpers and zip ties to install this unit more to come And this is how it looks when you take off the liner. Access to everything. What I'm gonna try and get into is that spot right there, clean it up, and then mount the EMP shield on there. Mind the light up as hot as I can. <laughs> That's gonna be a bummer. It's gonna be hard to see that light. Hopefully it's glowing in there when I turn it on. Should be, it's gonna be a dark space. Just going to put pressure on there and make sure it adheres to it. Then I'll zip tie the top just to make sure, like, add safety. So then drop through the if the vibration does knock it loose. I can't think that's good.
So I wind up getting the grounding cable, pushing the slack into the frame, and mounting the grounding cable to the horn mount on the actual frame. So I'll keep you updated. Fish the wire from there to the front access panel because back here is where the hens is at which if I were to fish it through there I had to overlap this area and I didn't want it to get pinched by the actual hinge so I wind up going this route and fishing it through there now all that's left to do is connect my negative side first then a positive last and for that, there should be a green light that lights up from there. And then the installation is done. Hold on, so let me get to it. Installation is not complete. Put the ground on either side, the battery. And then last step was to hook the positive side of the battery, which I did. Covered it up. And when it's all said and done, you see that green light turn on. Now, they say to mount it where you can actually see, access and see the actual light, make sure it's working right, or it's active rather, for it to be working properly. But with the green lights on, that means everything's good. Okay. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I kind of forgot um, to show you the safety, or not safety, but the redundancy. So just in case there's an adhesive that does give out, just zip tight them to the actual vehicle. So due to heat, they do come off, they ain't gonna fall into the wheel well. Um, or a liner rather. This is after I like, can't see anything of course because it's all covered up. And as for the light, I'm not sure if you can see it. Nah. It'll probably show up better at night. But I can see it's not showing up on camera though. So be better I can go right here. Nope. Well, Alright, well. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. Have a good day.